All right, this is going to be a very quick tutorial on how to scale your animations for your sub alerts. So let's get right into it. So first off, here we go. I got my alert here, right? This is my animation. And if I turn off uh, custom CSS and I play it, this is what happens. Boom, but it's way too freaking big and I want my it to be smaller. Um, and I want to have all my other alerts that I have going on too without creating a new uh, alert profile, right? So look, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go to Enable Custom CSS. Um, but before that, you're going to right-click, and you're going to go to Inspect, and you're going to go here to Console, and it's going to show you what just got triggered, and this is what just got triggered. So if we scroll, we can see there's a Brian text and a Brian text. That's the text-to-speech text that I had going on. And then we've got right here, which is the MP3. So that's the audio that got fired. And then if we scroll up a little bit more, um, we can see, right? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here, there's an object. And if you open up that object, you have all the information here. So here's the audio. Here's the graphic. This little guy right here, this is what graphic that you're using after you've uploaded it, right? So you're just going to double click this and copy that. Boom. Now we have the path of where the graphic lives on the internet. I don't know why Stream Elements doesn't t do this. Don't ask me. Um, so then you're just going to close this, right? You're going to go to your enable custom CSS editor, right? And then in the uh, image source, there will be something that's like default. You just want to paste in that URL right here. Make sure that there's not two quotes, but one quote, right? Boom. Now we have our uh, GIF image that we fired off at the beginning, right? And then we go to CSS, and then we can add edit any of the CSS. Uh, what I did is I just scaled it in half, so I used the transform scale, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 um, property to literally scale it in half. And if you can see on the HTML, you've got the text container, and that's, 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 uh, that's containing everything, right? So it's holding every single thing. If you wanted to just do the image, you would do image container, so you'd take that um, little bit of code, right? And you would put it right here in image container, just like that. But for my example, I don't want to do that. I want it to be for the whole thing. And so here we go. Now you just hit done, and you hit save. And then now, when you run that cheer event, boom, scale. And there you My go, folks. Is that is how you scale down a uh, um, an animation in uh, Stream Elements. Uh, I know it's you know not a uh, you know it, it's not so straightforward on the on the platform. So just wanted to show you guys how to use the custom CSS editor a little bit. Um, and I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Don't forget to like and follow. Peace.